Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nissel and today in this video I will show you the first ever test flight of my Tarot 690 Hexacopter project which I finished building recently. I will also upload the full build time lapse of the project uh, but right now I will provide all the links to the related videos down in the video description. So go and check them out. Before moving on, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. It's free guys, do it. Also, don't forget to press that notification icon just side by. This was technically its first test flight with Pixock. I flew it in stabilized mode or manual mode with different parameters. It was very unstable and unresponsive to my transmitter inputs. Uh, it was very wobbly type. The default parameters was not suited for the frame. And the P gain was too low for the size of my hexacopter. And when I switched the flight mode to altitude hold, it was maintaining its altitude absolutely fine, but it had no any improvements in its stability. Thinking the condition would be better in GPS 3D lock, I changed the flight mode to loiter. Here it was maintaining its position pretty well and accurate but it started oscillating in its position which was a clear sign of insufficient P gain. After slightly increasing P gain, I again did a test flight at night which showed slightly better results. It looks wonderful at night due to the LEDs and it is also very satisfying to see this thing flying in the sky. After a bit more tuning, I was courageous enough to decide to have a test flight operation through smartphone as this is but i did not dare to completely trust on it so i took it off in the sky through the transmitter in loiter flight mode and sent it far enough for me to test out rtl or return to launch Then, for the first time, I selected RTL flight mode on Q-Ground Control Station on my smartphone. And to my own surprise, it worked fantastic and landed safely to the position from where it had took off. After this, I left my controller on the ground grabbed my smartphone and did a one touch takeoff feature of Q ground control which in fact worked at first attempt without breaking any of the propellers which is damn exciting One key auto land also worked great and brought my hexacopter down and disarmed all the motors safely. After all of this, it was finally ready to go on an autonomous mission for the first time. So I attached one of my smartphone to its bottom for recording its video of mission and also from a point of view of security to locate the drone if something goes wrong. Then I created a small mission on my smartphone with only 4 checkpoints and RTL at the end of the mission through Q ground control. Uploaded it and started the mission with the press of a button. It 
it was a great satisfaction for me to see my force giving me my desired result which was the drone going through the mission and completing it successfully Hey you, before leaving don't forget to like, share and comment on my videos and also don't forget to subscribe my channel and also don't forget to press that notification icon so that you will never miss any of the updates.